Hello everybody, I'm going to quickly go over on how to cast a shadow of an object. So I just opened up sort of a general image of the with a silhouette of a man and I'm going to go over on how to cast a shadow. First off, you can use any tool you like, whether it's the uh, select color range. Um, what we're trying to do is select the object and nothing else. So I, I'm, for this one, I'm going to use the magic wand. Now make sure when you have the magic wand, you have the wand with the plus sign up here so that you add it to selection. Choose your brush. Since there's a huge contrast in color, I'm going to just go with a big diameter. And we'll go with that. Let's go through. So actually what I'm doing here is just selecting the white space. So and that's not what I want to cast a shadow of, so I'm going to go to select inverse. Now after I have the object selected, I want to cut it and paste it twice. So you'll notice I have another layer over here. So layer one with the object. And I'm just going to use command V to copy it again. So one layer one layer 2 and my background. Now just to clean it up a little bit I'm actually going to fill in because I didn't paste it right over the object. I'm going to go to my background layer and just fill it in with the white. Alright so we're going to work in layer 1. This is going to be our actual shadow that we're going to cast. And the first thing you want to do is transform it, or rather distort the image. So go to Edit, Transform, and then down to Distort. And you want to grab the top middle point, click on it, and then drag your image to however, you know, you can play around with it, however you want to cast a shadow. I think I'm going to leave it right like that. So basically this is how our shadow is going to be laid out. And after you do that, the next step is to fill in the shadow with just make it all black. So set your foreground color to black and then just fill it in. You may have to click a few times, that's fine. Alright, so now it's black. Now make sure you are also still in layer 1 or the middle layer between the background and layer 2 and you want to add a layer mask. So there's our layer mask. So after we've added the layer mask, we are going to add a gradient overlay. And you can see already it's starting to do it. So just go to gradient overlay. You can adjust your angle. And what I, I like to do is have it darkest at the bottom, kind of fading into light play around with it, you know, depending on how your shadow is going to be, depends on the scale that you're going to go with. And make sure the preview is clicked so you can see what it's going to actually look like. You want your style to be linear, normal. You can, you can adjust the opacity a little bit. So I'm going to be right about there, 84%. So we're not done yet. We're still going to work on the in the middle layer where the shadow is cast. And we just want to add a little blur to it. So to do that, go up to Filter, Blur, and we're going to add a Gaussian Blur. And once again, you might want to play around with it. You know, that's, that's almost too much if you ask me. And so adding a blur kind of smooths the edges out and almost makes it look more realistic. Like I said, now depending on your needs, you're going to kind of tweak everything and mess with the opacity, the fill layer if you need to. Try to get that shadow just right. 
and even if you, it's necessary you can use this tool and kind of move your shadow around if you want. Now if you're a Mac user you can always go back hold command T select the object and scale it move it around however you'd like. Alright there you go that is how to cast a shadow in Photoshop CS3.